And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of dye, food dye, into each one of these. And we're gonna get some food dye here. And we're gonna put it in there, in the gel cap, and then throw it in the liquid and see which one dissolves first. And that's for the next part of the experiment, which will involve some potassium permanganate and a delayed reaction. One of the ones I found in the super fun books on uh, improvised munitions or something. As soon as the green starts hitting the water from inside the gel capsule, we should know that the gel capsule has lost integrity. It no longer has integrity, and it is a bad gel capsule. I transferred them over to a white background, so it'll be easier to see the green when it starts coming through. One last shot to show like what the different liquids are. And there's a little bit of green food dye in each of the capsules there. And then we'll see how long it takes before they break through. This is part of an experiment that I've had in my head for a while. What I want to do is create a time delay. Kind of one of those things that I saw in one of those improvised munitions books that we all saw. Well, not we all saw, but a lot of us 80s and 90s kids saw in the backs of magazines and catalogs. It says, learn how to be James Bond. Order yourself the poor man's James Bond by Kurt Saxon. And so we'd order it. And then there's these improvised munitions and, and booby traps and all sorts of stuff. Some of it didn't even work right like there was a recipe in there on how to make potassium chlorate but the problem was he told us to use lye like uh, you know drain cleaner lye and bleach and hydrochloric acid now I don't know if you know what lye is but lye is sodium hydroxide bleach is sodium hypochlorite hydrochloric acid is hydrochloric acid so the problem there is that there's no potassium involved in the whole thing you'll get maybe some sodium chlorate probably some other sodium things like sodium chlorite and sodium hypochlorite you're not gonna get any potassium I mean, there's no transmutation going on. But anyways, the books were kind of fun. Poor man, James Bond. Uh, we called him one time, Kurt Saxon. Me and my friend, we called him and wanted some advice. I forget what on. And uh, he told us to be sure to wear some of those gloves. You know, like the women use to do dishes. <laughs> yeah, I still remember that. That was funny. Anyways, uh, so uh, the, the experiment... I got some gel caps. Uh, these had GABA, uh, gamma amino butyric acid. It's like a supplement thing. It's supposed to help you think or something. I don't remember. It might help with memory. So I uh, just emptied it out and uh, ate it straight. It's a little sweet. It tastes interesting. Kind of sweet. Kind of weird. Uh, but I wanted to save the gel caps. Uh, so I just emptied those into my mouth and then just swallowed the, the GABA amino butyric acid. Uh, you know, like a normal person. Anyway. That's about it. I hope uh, you find this useful. It will be useful for part two, where I use the capsules in conjunction with some potassium permanganate and perhaps some sugar uh, to have a time delay reaction, uh, which can be useful for, I, I don't know, times when you need a half hour delay or an hour delay or something like that. Depends on which one of these mixtures you use. Or maybe a different mixture that has a longer delay. Uh, glycerin really seems to slow it down, so that might be a good one to slow it down. Vinegar seems to speed it up. Uh, that's why I got the twisty view here where I zoomed in and twisted it and I got the glycerin in the upper left hand corner and also on the far right hand side. Kind of twist and cut around just so I can see it better. So please like and subscribe and share and you know hit all those good buttons that makes it so that I make magical YouTube monies. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.